on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. It's Farm Tub Tubes, man. Hashtag Farm Tub Tubes. So far, there's been no update to the mod testing list. Giants have released a new blog answering your questions on their new DLC. Custom modding should be releasing their 4940 self-propelled sprayer this month. A-Dub Modding's got a new fact sheet from the old Gen Massey pack. Northeast Farm Group teased their upcoming Challenger mod. AAA Modding are already working on a new update for their John Deere 55 series. Dutch Modding show off their new Vin Hewis update. Meyer Family Modding have their new low loader in-game. GeForce Modding updates us on the progress of the Lone Oak Cow Husbandry. CM Mod shows off the field deaths on Lawfold's Aberdeenshire. Plus, Lancy Boy teases his new map. Let's check it out. At the time of recording, there has been no update to the testing list. However, if one does release, I will be posting it on a community tab as well as in my Facebook page, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Moving into today's top stories, Giant Software have put together a Q&A blog regarding the upcoming Alpine Farming Expansion DLC, which will be coming out on Thursday, November 12, 2020, on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, PC, Mac, and Google Stadia. In the new Q&A blog, they answer some of the most common questions like, will the DLC be included in the new Platinum Edition of Farming Simulator 19? And will it be included in Season Pass for consoles? Now, both answers are yes, by the way. They even answer, how do you charge the electric tractor? All of these answers can be found in their new blog, and I will leave a link to that in the description below. If you'd like me to do a separate video answering these questions, let me know, and I'll be happy to do that this weekend. Speaking of this weekend, you've probably been wondering, where are the live streams, DJ? All streams have been moved to weekends, and this weekend we're going to be streaming tomorrow on Saturday. The stream's going to start at 12 p.m. Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific, and 5 p.m. GMT. We're either going to be on Lone Oak or Six Ashes. Hopefully Six Ashes is released by the time this video comes out, but... Let me know which of those two maps would you like to see. Custom Modding have released the official teaser video for their upcoming John Deere 4940 self-propelled sprayer, and it is everything and more that you wanted it to be. As we already knew, this is going to be available for all platforms as both a sprayer and fertilizer spreader modules, and those are going to attach to the back of the 4940. It's going to hold 4,543 liters of liquid fertilizer, can spray at a max speed of 20 miles per hour or 32 kilometers per hour. You can also choose between Firestone, Goodyear, and Michelin tires if you're on PC, and the Firestones will likely be Lizard tires on console. There's also something very unique about this. It has four-wheel independent suspension, which is totally different from anything else that's standard in-game. And to close, they say, this month, a new experience in your farming simulator. Meaning we should see this later this month. Generally, Custom Modding have released their mods privately for PC and Mac first and sent them off to Giants for testing at the same time. I can't see them doing anything different here. However, only time will tell. Ada Modding dropped another fact sheet for their old Gen Massey pack this morning, showing off the Massey Ferguson 600, which is the primary tractor coming with the pack. This is going to cost you between $19,900 and $28,400 with a horsepower range of 75 to 95 buff horses. Engine configurations are the 675, 690, 698T, and the 699. It will also have the ability to add a front loader, which will also be coming with the pack, as well as a logging cage. In addition to those, you can add the detachable weight. This is going to be purchased separately. Northeast Farm Group look to be making great progress on their new Challenger tractor mod, but have posted a teaser saying which one is being delivered to your farm. As a Case IH boy, I'd have to say the red, but as a player, I would have to say the Challenger mod. Either way, I don't think you can go wrong here. Unfortunately, no other information was provided about the Challenger mod. Check them out on Facebook and stay tuned to the channel, as this is one mod that I'm watching like a hog. AAA Modding are already working on an update to their John Deere 4755 4955 that was just released a few days ago. With this update, we will be seeing wine tires along with some other changes, I'm sure. Hard to make a great mod even better, but AAA Modding seem to do that with all of their mods. Dutch Modding Inc. say that once again it's Van Huis Friday, and the update to their Van Huis JVK 16000 has been sent off to Giants for testing, hoping to see it in the next week or so. This mod is for all platforms. Meyer Family Modding's low loader is in-game, however they say there's still more work to be done. Regardless, getting something in-game is half the battle. Looking good, MFM. This is a mod that they're making for all platforms. G4 says that their Lono Cow Husbandry did fail testing yesterday, but has been fixed and sent back off for testing. If you want to see their mods in action, check out my updated series on Lone Oak Farm, and the next episode will be dropping later today. Don't miss it. CM Mods posted a pic of the field depths on Lawfold's Aberdeenshire, showing off where each field's workable area would be. 
Every day, I keep getting more and more excited about this map. I can't wait! And lastly today, Lancy Boy says that he's got a new farmhouse on his new map with a sleep trigger, and it can be sold if you want to use something else on his map. The house and garages as well are usable. This is still no name, so it's a work in progress still, but by the looks of it, it's coming along great. And by the looks of it as well, it looks like something we could already play on. <laughs> if this is what a work in progress looks like, I can't wait to see the final version. Just like every episode of Farm Some News, links to all topics discussed today can be found in the description below. There's no release dates for mods, so myself nor anyone else knows when anything is going to be released. If I did not talk about something that you're interested in or curious about, hey DJ, where's that thing at? I don't know. <laughs> There's just simply no new information at the time of recording on that thing. Please refer to previous episodes of Farm Sim News for the updated status of those things that you're interested in. And make sure you stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video, get subscribed to the channel if you're new, and join the Go Ham fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. And don't miss the live stream tomorrow, 12 p.m. Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. GMT. We're going to have a lot of fun. All being said, I hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Peace! It's the weekend, and you know what that means. Time to binge some Farming Simulator.